Welcome to Sports Tracks. Today I want us to look at Oblique Seville, the new 100 meters hope for Jamaica's male sprinting. Seville showed the world he has what it takes to perform under pressure at the highest level when he gave a great showing in the recent 2022 World Athletics 100 meters finals. Following Seville's outstanding performances this season, Glenn Mills, coach of rising Jamaican sprint star Oblique Seville, said there is no pressure on the shoulders of his charge to deliver next season as he aims to become the world's top 100-meter sprinter. Mills, who is the former coach of Usain Bolt, world record holder in the 100 meters and 200 meters, said that Seville had a superb season, breaking the 10-second barrier for the first time and setting an impressive 9.86-second personal best. He would go on to finish fourth in the final of the men's 100 at his first appearance at the World Athletics Championships in Eugene, Oregon, in July. Interestingly, Seville's time is the second fastest by a Jamaican this season behind Young Blake's 9.85, and the fifth fastest time in the world this year. American Fred Curley's 9.79 is the quickest. His performances this year puts him in the top four and among the very best in the world, said Mills. Yes, he would be expected next year to compete and to do well at the highest level, he said. As to it being a burden on his shoulders, I would say no, it is normal progression, Mills said. If you are moving from B-class to A-class, you expect that you are going to be performing at A-class level and that is what you work for. And so it shouldn't be a burden. In fact, to be there should be a relief, he stated. How well he does will be measured by how well he performs how well he executes among the very best, of which he is one of them. Seville, a former Homewood Technical and Calabar standout who hails from the parish of St. Thomas, has not competed since his fourth place finish at the World Championships. Mills said Seville was shutting down the season and that the sprinter was on holiday. No, he won't be competing in any of the Diamond League races because his season is finished and he is looking forward to starting preparations for next season in September, he said. The veteran coach who guided Yoan Blake to the world 100 meters title in 2011 pointed out that Seville could have run a lot faster in the final of the men's 100 meters at the world championships, but the lack of experience got the better of him. I am pleased with the final outcome in terms of where he reached, where he is coming from, but I would be honest and say I am not totally satisfied, Mills said. I think that maybe lack of exposure and experience let him down, he said. I don't think he runs his best race when it matters most, but I think it is something that we can fix and will fix Mills reason. Personally, I agree with Glenn Mills. I think we've not seen the best of Seville. He is going to get better. As Mills said, it's just natural progression. Next season going into 2023 will be very interesting. As Oblique himself posted on his Twitter page, without faith, there is no hope. Without hope, there is no patience. Trust God. Now viewers and subscribers, we know that Jamaica men 100 meters sprinting have a new hope of recovery. Will Seville be the one? Respected coach, Glenn Mills seems to think so. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section.